cigarette smoke that clings to walls and furniture could cause DNA damage and potentially cancer, according to new research. Scientists at the University of California, Berkeley, say secondhand smoke can linger indoors and then react with indoor pollutants, creating brand new compounds that can cause DNA to mutate. Researchers say the best way to get rid of this third-hand smoke is to remove contaminated items like sofas and carpets. Colon cancer cases among older Americans have dropped 30 percent in the last 10 years because more people are getting colonoscopies. That's according to the American Cancer Society, which published national statistics that also show colonoscopies have tripled in the last 10 years. New research finds most low-income parents, regardless of race or ethnicity, expose their infants to food and behaviors that can lead to obesity. The study, published in the journal Pediatrics, looked at nearly 900 low-income parents and found 45 percent did not breastfeed their babies, 12 percent introduced solid food too early, and 43 percent put infants to bed with a bottle. The study also found 50 percent of parents put their babies in front of a TV to watch. Those are some of today's top health stories. Alexis Christophorus, CBS News, New York.